My name is Erica Tranfield and I am the director and co-founder of Pride Angel. So I, uh, I have a question which is um, how much would home insemination using uh, sperm from a donor found online cost? So the costs for um, home insemination, the first cost would be to find the donor themselves. Once you find the donor, um, the cost for that would be the, the costs for utilizing a website such as Pride Angel. So we charge 30 pounds uh, for 20 message credits. They don't expire and they allow you to communicate with the donor um, using our internal messaging system. Once you find the donor, then you would be looking at compensation to uh, cover his expenses. So for example, if the donor were to travel uh, to yourself, um, it would be reasonable for you to cover the costs. If, you, if the donor had to stay overnight, then it would be reasonable for you to, to put him up in um, some sort of accommodation such as a hotel and possibly um, pay for his meal for the evening. Basically, the compensation is to ensure that the donor is not out of pocket. Then the, the final part of the cost, and I should say at, at this point as well, that some donors um, do not request um, compensation at all. So for example, the, the daughter of, um, sorry, the father of our daughter um, didn't ask for any financial contribution. Then there is the cost of the um, insemination kits. So home insemination kits on Pride Angel vary from uh, 20 pounds to over 100 pounds. It depends on what you're looking for. A basic kit will, will cover uh, the basic elements of home insemination. Obviously for the more expensive kits, they're more comprehensive. In addition to that, um, additional costs would be possibly having the, the donor um, screened for sexually transmitted diseases, which can be done through a fertility clinic or he can go to the, the gum clinic. And um, then there is the legal agreement, so the known donor um, contract. So that, I would say, is the, um, or the known donor agreement. That, that's in, in, all in all, is everything that would cover you uh, for home insemination. Do donors need to have semen analysis and screening tests before they donate? It is not a requirement um, to have a donor um, tested. However, we would recommend it um, for semen analysis. The donor may not have good quality sperm and therefore you may go down the route of using home insemination um, and it may never work. Um, as we found indeed afterwards with one of our donors, through our journey, we, um, we tried to use the donor and we found out afterwards using a home testing kit that um, his sperm was of very low quality. Um, in terms of sexually transmitted disease testing, absolutely. This is for your safety and your, uh, your child's safety. So we would say, although it's not a requirement, it is a very strong recommendation.